Hi everyone, this is Mark Siegel and in this video I'm going to show you how to share a Google Doc both as a pure Google Doc and as a Word or a PDF file. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to share a document. So I'm going to scroll down to those, pro those um, Adopt an Element projects I was playing with earlier in the previous video. So here's that Adopt an Element project uh, that was a Word Doc that I converted to a Google Doc. So I'm going to open this up and I just remembered that I put in this thing here so I want to take that out and all my things are saved excellent so you see in the upper right hand corner it's share is this big blue share button and it's loading and it's loading and it's loading okay now this is your sharing settings this link that's right here that's the link to the actual document never actually hand that to anyone if you do we need to talk about some things because there's no way anyone could get all those little letters and numbers and everything correct so don't actually write that down it's always safe for you now you notice my current setting is private meaning only I can access it and I want to change that so I want this to be able to share it with anyone with the link now the different settings are pretty easy public means anyone can actually search for it now I'll tell you I've made files public before search for the exact name that was on the document and couldn't find it on the internet so it's not that easy to find so don't worry about that public on the web and people will be able to randomly find it I like anyone with the link and the reason anyone with the link works well is sometimes kids forget their login information and it doesn't they can't always get into the file however you may only want to share it with people in your school district so I can share it with Middletown Pu Township Public Schools I can so anyone in Middletown can actually search for this document again never been able to find anything I can do it people in Middletown who have the link so they can't search for it but if they have the link they can get it or I can share it with very specific people so I'm gonna actually leave this open with the link the only difference between the Middletown ones and the anyone with the link is the Middletown people have to log in first and you'll get that little login sign now down here in the bottom is where the most important part about this is so notice right now it's can view if I want other people to be able to edit it, it would be I'll list it as can edit. Can comment means I can add those little comments that you see kind of on the right hand side. So for the most part, 90% of the time I leave it as can view. And what that means is people can see it, they can look at it, they can read the whole thing, but they can't change it. And that's usually the best way to do it with students. So I'm gonna click save. Okay, now I need to enter in the name of someone who can who is going to be able to change this. So I am going to enter in my failsafe which is Dina Bach. And you notice if I start typing her name, her name pops up immediately. So right now it's listed as can edit, but again I'm going to change that to can view. And I'm going to I'm going to take off this notify her via email. Now I can send an email. So you see it says add message. So I can click this and I can type in a message to her. hopefully she understands that but actually I'm not going to send an email so I'm going to uncheck that box and I'm going to click OK now if I sent her an email she'll actually get an email with a clickable link on the inside she can click it and go without it all that means is she has to log into her Google Drive and on the left hand side she sees this incoming button and under incoming will be that document that I just shared with her okay so that's the way you share documents now um, students work the same way you can still type in their names individually or type them in as class contacts another video will tell you how to do class contacts okay so that's how you share a Google Doc straight up as a Google Doc but we all know that there are people who don't like Google Docs they need to have it as a word or a PDF file no problem Google thought about that and they said I got it I got you covered you can actually do this as two ways when you go to file in the upper left hand corner and you scroll down you will see two options that work for you one is download as so you can download it as a Microsoft document you can out rich RTF ODT PDF TXT HTML uh, I'm sure there's other designations that you can come up with but I can't think of any off the top of my head so you can download this as a Word doc and open it in Word if you want to or what my favorite thing to do is, and I do this all the time and you guys don't even realize it, is I email things as attachments. Now you see up at the top it says what my options are. So I like to email things as PDFs. So now I can type in Dina's name directly 
Thank you, Dina, for being my test subject. And in that will be my Adopt an Element project. And in here, it will automatically send an email. So now it's going to email Dina with a link that has my document directly in it. And when she receives it on her end, it will say Adopt an Element Project PDF. She'll have no clue that it was created as a Google Doc. This is great if you want your students to email things as Word documents to you or PDFs to you, but you're not comfortable doing it in Google Drive. Tell them to use Google Drive and just email it to you as a PDF. And if they have questions, send them to this video and it shows them how to do it. Now I'm not going to send you this email, Dina, because poor Dina will get 2,000 emails from me from all these videos I'm creating. Okay, And then like I said, when she opens it, it will open as a PDF using her PDF format, Adobe, or Word in Microsoft Word. It will never open up in a Google Drive. Okay, So this is, works well for both groups of people. So you can share documents with people in Google Drive or you can actually email them or download them and send it to them if you want to do it that way. So those are the two ways to get your files from Google Drive to other people.